Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video and today you're watching one of the best, if not the best, speed bridging tutorials on YouTube. Now the reason this is one of the best tutorials on YouTube is because all the other tutorials are really old and outdated. This is a fresh 2022 year tutorial and you're gonna learn it from myself, a telebridger. And for those that don't know, telebridging is the fastest and the hardest Minecraft bridging method. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. But before everything, this kind of content takes me a long time and I would really greatly appreciate if you would subscribe. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, so speed bridging is a bridging method that if done correctly can be really fast. It has become quite popular in the past few years in Hypixel Bedwars community. Nowadays, speed bridging is the most popular bridging method, except for slow bridging. But anyways, speed bridge, or as some people call ninja bridge, has the best balance of all all bridging methods between consistency and speed. Anyway, there are two steps to learning speed bridge and I'm going to go over them individually. So make sure not to skip any of these parts because you might miss out on some important stuff. Anyway, the first part. When you're speed bridging, you have to be aiming at around 45 degrees from the edge of the block. If you aim this way, when you're speed bridging, you will get the most speed out of it. So this can be either 45 degrees or 135 degrees of this number. The way you can practice this is pretty simple. I will give you right now a few servers where you can practice your bridging skills. Basically join any of those servers and find a game mode that's called Fast Bridge, Fast Bridger or Bridge Practice or something like that. Anyway, you just have to slow bridge for a few seconds and see if your Minecraft character is not drifting sideways. Don't worry if you cannot get the aim down really fast, it will come to you naturally after quite a while. But basically, if you see yourself drifting to the side, try to move your cursor the opposite way of the side you're drifting to. So for example, if you're drifting up, move your mouse a little bit to the left, and if you're drifting down, move your mouse a little bit to the right. Your your main goal is to be in the center of the blocks, not at the edge, but the center. Anyways, after you learn how to aim, we get into the second part of this video. Okay, but when you're speed bridging, there's only two things you have to time. Your shift and your mouse. That is placing blocks. Okay, so you have to start as you would be starting your slow bridge at 45 degrees. As I said in the previous part of this video. But basically you have to sit at the edge and don't press anything yet. Now if you are in this position, then you are doing everything correct. Now comes the timing part. The first thing you need to do is click the mouse. And then just after you click the mouse, quickly let go of your shift button and press it again. You can do it really fast, but as long as you let go of your shift and press it down again, then you did a great job. Let's do one block of this thing that I told you to do now. Anyways, after you speed bridge one block, you have to do it again. I'm gonna repeat it. Aim at the middle of the edge block face. Press your mouse button and right after you press it, let go of your shift and press it down again. Anyway, the time you are not holding your shift for doesn't matter. As long as you do it, then this is faster than slow bridge and you're doing speed bridge. Now, if you want your speed bridge to become faster, you just have to experiment with letting go of your shift for a longer time. Now, now I advise you to do about 50 blocks of this bridging method in distance before going to Bedwars and using it there. But also when you're in Bedwars, I'm gonna be honest, you probably are gonna fall and don't be ashamed of it. A lot of people when they started speed bridging fell off their bridge. But I'm giving you an estimate that if you do this for about 10 Bedwars games, you're gonna be quite decent at it and you will rarely ever fall again. Remember the most important thing is don't be scared to do this bridging method even though the void looks intimidating and it never give up anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more of my content and i'll see you in the next video